first graders, welcome to a new math lesson. We're still in topic seven, lesson three, counting by tens to twenty. This is something nice. Fifteen, seventeen, so numbers from eleven to nineteen using the ten frames. We learned also that we fill the first ten frames and we use the leftovers, which is another ten frame to put the rest of the numbers. So for example, fifteen is ten and five or 19 is 10 and 9. We also learn one more, one less, or one fewer, two mores and two fewer. Two more and two fewer. Today, we'll be learning um, how to show groups of tens to help us count, which is like counting by tens. As you see in the lesson, counting by tens till 20. So for this, we need to do something that help us to uh, count by tens. Well, we're going to do that many, we can call it mini term frames. So this is mini term frames. Remember the previous one was like this. We have 10 frames. This is 110. This is 210. We're going to make many of these. So I used my index cards or flashcards or any color paper. I cut them to stripes and each one is 10. So this is, if I count, I have 10. So this is 10. I'm not going to count each box. Now this is like many 10 frames, like this one. But small and many ones. So you can do that and that you can keep it and always use it. So this is 10. This is another 10. This is a third 10, fourth 10. So when I'm counting like that, now I don't need to count each box. I know this is 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and then 120. So this is my 120 because we will be counting by tens till 120 or 120. So as I said, each one, it's 10. So you're not counting the boxes inside, you're just saying 10. Okay, so you can do that will help you to um, count and to have fun. I have mine ready. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So this is 10. If I count each box, it's going to be 10 boxes in each 10. So this is 10 mini 10 frames. So when I count, I will say 10, 20. Let's see, two of these. If I say 30, means three tens. If I say 40, that's mean four tens. If I say 50, means very good five tens. One ten, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So let's play using these. But as I said, you can do that and you always have them keep in the box will help you to do this exercise. Alright, I'm gonna use these because it's ready and it's easy for me to use so save time. But for you, this is would be perfect. And you can have fun, you can color them, you can use regular paper, just add lines and color them or use different colors, whatever you have. All right, so we're gonna make up numbers here. All right, so for example, if I put the number in a box, this is the number I'm gonna count in tens. So let's say 70, you wanna see 70. 70 means seven zero. 70 means how many tens? Awesome, seven tens, so I'm gonna say, one, that's one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, can you see them? Five tens, six tens, seven tens. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. So seventy is how many tens? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Awesome. So seventy is seven tens. All right. 
Let's come up with another number. How about 30? So I'm going to write here 30. How many tens and 30? 10, 20, 30. So how many? One. That's one ten. That's another ten. That's another ten. So one, two, three. So thirty. How many tens? One, two, three. Three tens. Okay. Let's do number three and let's go for numbers. How about ninety? I think you got it. But let's work together. Ninety. So one. So let's count them first by 10. So I have 110, 2, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 90, which is count how many tens? This is 110, 2, 3 tens, 4, 5, six seven eight nine so 90 is one two three four five six seven eight nine tens right because we we agree that each of of the sticks represent to me ten it's like this is one ten frame so this is one ten frame many ten frames two three four five six seven eight nine so 90 is nine ten frames let me write here nine number four let's do 50 all right i'm gonna use the one i ask you to do because it will help you to show you that's so simple and easy 50 all right this is one two that's 10, 20 30 40 and 50 so if this is what you have, this is what we're going to do. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Why? Because I know this is 10 frames. So this is one 10, another 10, another 10, another 10, another 10. And as I show you, cut the paper, stripe, make sure that you have 10 boxes as you are doing many 10 frames like the one we had in the previous lesson. All right? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's my 50. How many 10s? One 10. Two, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. So five. All right. Awesome. Let's put this on the side and work for that next page. Turn the page and go to page 248. All right. They explain it and they show you what to do. So one ten frame. This is one ten frame. Two ten frames, there are two. Three, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighty. You got it. Ninety and a hundred. All right. This is when I count by how many tens. Let's say one means ten, two tens means twenty. Three tens means 10, 20, 30. Four tens means 10, 20, 30, 40. Five tens means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Six tens mean 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Seven tens, very good. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, awesome. Eight tens means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 9 tens means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then 100 means 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So how many tens in 100? 1 ten, 2 tens, 3 tens, 4 tens, 5 tens, 6 tens, 7 tens, 8 tens, 9 tens, 10 tens. So 10 tens equal 100. So if I want to play, for example, this game, 6 tens equals 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's say 
six tens or sixty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So this is my sixty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six. For this exercise, you see them drawing the tens for you. So if you can use what you did, those, or you can use the tens that's drawn for you. Okay, the first one. You gotta practice page 248. Count by tens, then write the numbers. So I know this is 10 frames. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40. If you want to double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 110, that big box, 110, 210, 3, 4. So 10, 20, 30, 40. As we said, remember, it's many 10 frames. So four tens, look here, four tens equal 40. And then we write 40. Again, all the numbers are written for you here in words. So you need to just look up there to get help and hint how to write the words all right let's do this together let's count how many group of tens so this is one group two group three groups so three group of tens three tens equals 10 20 30. 30 and now i need to write the word 30. where's 30 where's 30 here's 30. So this is the word that you need to write it here, okay? All right, let's do you understand? Do you understand? When might be better to count by tens instead of by ones? When do you think it's better to use 10 frames and counting by 10, like group of 10, 20, 30, 40, and instead of 1, 2, 3, 4. What do you think? Of course, when I have a lot to count, if I have a lot to count, it will take a long time to count 1, 2, 3 by 1s. But if I can group them to 10, it would be easy for me because it's a big number. Imagine if I have to count 90, and instead of I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Still, money that take a long time and I might make mistakes. But if I have group of tens, I would be saying 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Right? So let's put this uh, down on words. Okay. Do you understand? When might be better to count by tens instead of by one? When? There are a lot to count, right? A lot of things to count. So I'm gonna use, like imagine you have a save box and this save box full of cents or dimes, a lot, like that much. So you're not gonna go one by one, that will take like an hour. But if you pile them by 10, so you're gonna just put them on the top of each other like that. So all what you need to do, count the first 10 to make, so you pile them and make 10, and then you count 20, 30, and you put them next to each other, then that will help you to count. But if I only have like, just like that few in my hands, I'll say one, two, three, four. Oh, I have four counters. But if I have a box full, if you're saving coins, this is will be the easiest and the only way to count by pile them on tens or group them in tens and count how many tens you get. Okay, so let's continue. When there are a lot of things to count, what are we gonna do? When you make groups of ten. So when you can make group or pile of tens as we say okay all right let's continue page 249 number three count by tens then write the numbers so we're doing the same count by tens so count how many tens this group of tens is so one ten 
two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens. So seven tens mean, if you're not sure, look here. Seven tens mean 70. So I'm gonna write 70, and then I'm gonna write the word 70. Okay? It's all written for you out there. Okay, let's go for number four. Let's see how many group of tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is twelve tens. Very good. So twelve tens means hundred and twenty. Very good. See, it says here twelve tens is hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty. Eleven tens up there. It's 110, so 110. So 120, 12 tens, I'm going to write 120, and then I'm going to look here and copy the words. 120. Okay. Okay, let's count using this pattern. Look at the pattern, write the missing numbers. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So what's the pattern I'm using? What do I add every time? Very good, 10. Awesome. So 0, 10, 20, 30. Let me use my counters here. 10, 20, 30, 40, let me put it this way so you can see it, 40, what comes after 40 means 4 tens, what comes after 4, very good, 50, 60, it's done for you, after 60 comes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, after 6, 70, here's my 7, after 70, 10 more, 80. Awesome. Here's my 80. And then 90. Here's 90. And 100. 100 means, remember, 100 means 10 tens. Let's count. Make sure I have 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then, what comes after 100? After 10, I added 10. 11 tens would be very good, 110. And then 120 means 12 ten. Remember over there in this bubble? 12 tens is 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 tens means 120. Let's turn the page. All right. Number six. Solve the problems below. They have three boxes. Ten boxes. Ten books are in each box. So he had three boxes. Each box carry ten books. So I need to draw ten. How many books does Jose have? Draw ten frames to solve. Write the numbers. All right. So I'm gonna draw my 10 frames. Remember, this is after our 10 frames, but many 10 frames, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So each box have 10 books. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's my first ten frames. Second one, and remember the three boxes each carry ten. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten, twenty, thirty. How many tens? Read first. How many tens? One ten, two, three. So three tens. Three tens means ten. Twenty, thirty means thirty. And now I have to write the word 
30. Okay, let's go for number seven. One has four boxes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four boxes, same like this one. There are 10 books in each box. 10 in each box. How many books does Huan have? All right, that's easy. I need to draw 10 boxes, right? So one, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and this is my third tens, I'm filling inside the 10 frames with my books, so now I can easily count, right? So 10, 20, 30, 40, so how many books does he have? 40 and this is my 40 all right let's go for number eight draw groups of tens to show 60 then write the number so you need to draw group of tens six tens one two three four five six 10, 20, 30, 45, 50, 60, six tens. So we need to draw six tens, ten, yeah, to make 60. So you can draw it like that, but since this is not long enough, so I'm gonna go like this. 10, another one. That's number four. Five, and that's my six ten frame and then you go like this two three four and I need ten and I need six boxes three four and three four so now this is my ten frames and I need six of them to make 60, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's my first 10, and that's my second 10, 20, then this is my third 10, that make 30, and that's my fourth 10, make 40, and then my fifth 10, make 50, and then my sixth, Tens make 60. So that's all I need to do. So I drew I drew ten frame um, six of the ten frames to give me total 60. And they write it for you. I need to write it in numbers. That's number 60. Alright. So today we learned something new, counting by tens till 120 and we used our mini 10 frames the one you will be doing and have fun as i told you just you don't need even to do that but if you want that would be fun so that's mean this is 110 20 3 30 4 tens 50 60 6 tens 70 7 tens 80 8 tens 90 9 tens 10 tens is 100 then I have 110 and 120, which is 12 tens. All right, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Bye-bye.